Pretentious engineer here, I know you didn't ask, but you must be using Imperial units, which are suboptimal for most engineering applications. You see, America thought it was special and decided to bring Liberia and Myanmar along for the ride. Okay, you still look a little bit confused, so let's talk about stoichiometry so you can help conceptualize what is a kilometer in comparison to a mile, which is what you're used to. Now, if you had applied yourself in high school chemistry, you might remember something called stoichiometry, which comes from a German chemist named Jeremy Richter. And around 1794 or so, he wrote a couple articles on how you could do unit conversion with the application of chemistry in mind. That said, for engineering, we use this for all kinds of stuff. And for length conversions, it's rather elementary. Well, not ele elementary. You learn it in high school. But basically, if you start with one kilometer, you could kick out how many miles that is, and it ends up being 0.621371. Uh, and then additionally, if you wanted to run a 5K and know how many miles it is, you could use the same kind of